If you think nothing can survive in the freezing temperatures of the Arctic, you need to think again. The Arctic, like anywhere else in the world, is actually home to its very own little ecosystem. And while some of the animals that dwell there are perfect cuddle companions for the chilly nights, some are terrifying predators you'll want to go nowhere near. These are the most dangerous animals in the Arctic. Number 15. Polar Bear you may think they're adorable and friendly and huggable and whatever else the Coca-Cola commercials have told you, but the polar bear is actually the most dangerous bear on the planet. If there's a lesson to be learned here, it's this. Do not get your facts about animals from Coca-Cola commercials. While the polar bear mostly survives on seal meat, they're notorious carnivores willing to eat just about any kind of meat they come across. That could be anything from birds, to whales, walruses, to rats, and even other polar bears. Hey, hunger can do crazy things to your headspace. Coupled with their strong swimming and hunting capabilities, not to mention their sheer speed, the polar bear is easily the most dangerous bear on the planet and is probably the one most likely to pursue humans as a potential meal. But while the polar bear could easily outrun a human, it does have some limitations. Given their size and furry coat, the polar bear overheats very quickly when chasing ultra-fast animals like caribou or musk oxen. Those of us even remotely unfit can relate to that. I mean, we've all started to sweat while chasing the ice cream man. Right? Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. You do not want to encounter an arctic weasel. No matter how delightfully cute they may be, and they sure are adorable, the arctic weasel is a variant of the short-tailed weasel, also known as an ermine or mustela ermine, that can reach speeds of 8 miles per hour and jump as high as 6 feet. Yikes! Their long and lean bodies are so active that they burn calories faster than they can keep up with, meaning they need to eat a lot. Like, seriously a lot. More than Dwayne Johnson, maybe. And when you're a carnivore like an ermine, eating means killing. They are known to be among the fiercest creatures in the Arctic and are notably crafty killers. They can even attack and defeat prey that is much larger than themselves, ripping their poor dinner to be to shreds. Crikey. Comment down below with the hashtag juicy topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Leopard Seal Generally speaking, seals are incredibly intelligent and magnificent animals to see in the wild. But while most of us will see them as cute and curious little things, there's something much more intimidating out in the open water. Like many animal species, possibly including humans, it's the female leopard seals that are the most capable and most intimidating, often reaching weights of up to 590 kilograms and measuring anywhere up to 10 feet long. You can already see why so few animals go out looking to pick a fight with leopard seals. This unusual streamlined body gives the leopard seal a snake-like benefit of being able to slide through the water at a speed of up to 25 miles per hour. That ability allows it to drag its prey hundreds of feet underwater without a problem. And as for its prey, that can be anything from krill to penguins or even humans. Hey, it's happened more than you think. Despite its cute outward appearance, the leopard seal is not an animal to be underestimated. Animal organizations warn against people approaching these creatures due to their unpredictable and, frankly, dangerous nature. And here, we thought all seals were cool. Number 13. Arctic Fox like pretty much all foxes, there's something very suspicious looking about the arctic fox. Sure, it seems like every fox behaves as though it's just committed a bank robbery, but the arctic fox takes it to a whole other level of suspicion. This is not an animal bank robber as much as an animal career criminal. Like many animals in the arctic, the arctic fox goes to great lengths to protect itself from being discovered by predators. Not only does it change the color of its fur depending on the season, 
season, shifting from white in winter to brown in summer to reflect the environment, naturally. But this animal also makes its home deep beneath the surface of the ground, creating a kind of hideout to shelter from the cops. I mean, predators. Thanks to its thick winter coat, the fox is capable of withstanding temperatures of up to minus 50 degrees Celsius, allowing it to survive and thrive in the most demanding of circumstances. The Arctic fox tends to survive on small animals that it finds out in the wild, including hares, reptiles, and vulnerable seals that have drifted away from the herd. As with pretty much every animal in the Arctic, they should be considered armed and dangerous, and all officers in the area should, sorry, I'm um, getting my jobs mixed up here. Number 12. The Muskox I'm not sure why, but the name Muskox makes me think this animal is going to smell pretty bad. Having now seen the animal in question, I'm more convinced. That hair doesn't look like it'd smell flowery and subtle, but we're not here to discuss animal smells. Although it's an excellent idea for a future video, we're here to talk danger. If you look back throughout history, the muskox's ancestors have always been adaptive to the conditions of the Arctic. Whether it's developing insulated wool beneath its shaggy hair to keep it warm, or developing sharp, unique hooves designed to scratch the ice and reveal food beneath, it seems no Arctic animal has been more evolutionarily assisted than the muskox. Surprisingly, the muskox is actually not carnivorous, but don't let that fool you into assuming that they're not dangerous. There have been multiple cases of muskox being transferred to warmer climates, where they then attacked and killed humans and dogs. For some reason, they don't really like dogs. Maybe they're jealous of the man's best friend thing. The muskox is a prime example of a herbivorous animal that, in theory, should not be intimidating to us, but that actually is very intimidating to us. This is an animal that could quickly put you in a wheelchair if it's so desired. Better leave it to eat the iced grass. Number 11. Reindeer People always underestimate the power of the reindeer. But remember, these are animals that pull a fat guy slay around the world once a year, for goodness sake. They're immensely powerful and dangerous. Don't believe me? Let's not forget about the time a reindeer brutally ran over grandma and escaped in what can only be described as a tragic musical hit and run. Yeah, reindeer are dangerous. As a semi-domesticated animal, you're definitely less likely to get killed by a reindeer than, say, a lion, but that doesn't mean you're safe. While reindeer don't usually confront humans, they have been known to use their sharp antlers to inflict severe injuries on those that get too familiar. Those severe injuries, if deep enough, can turn fatal. Maybe grandma was lucky that she just got run over. Generally speaking, the reindeer does not pose a threat to humans and is actually quite a gentle creature. But all of that depends on the mood in which you find the animal and how you're treating it. Important lesson here, be kind to nature, and there's a 40% chance they won't kill you. Number 10, Narwhal. It's easy to assume that the narwhal is just some magical, mystical, and even mythical horned whale. But these animals are much more than quirky creatures found in Christmas-themed fairy tales. The narwhal is a creature of great fascination for marine biologists and explorers alike. And when the experts don't fully know what's going on, you know we're in uncharted territory. For hundreds of years, experts have found the narwhal to be a fascinating and somewhat complicated creature to study. They spend long winters in remote areas, hidden in dark and ice-covered water, making it all but impossible for explorers to even find them, let alone research them. However, the narwhal is also a notoriously dangerous creature, often using its speared head to stab and capture their food before devouring it. These unicorns of the sea, as they're so often called, are not exactly gentle giants. They have a knife on their head, for goodness sake. While they've been generally mysterious for many years, it seems the world is finally beginning to understand and appreciate the incredible power of the narwhal. You just have to hope that you don't bump into one in the middle of the ocean. Number 9. Arctic Wolf 
From a young age, we are conditioned to assume that wolves are intrinsically hostile towards humans. But that's not true in all of the cases. In fact, the Arctic wolf seems to be a unique exception to the rule. What makes it dangerous, you ask? Well, we'll get to that. For now, just focus on how cute this thing is. If you were to encounter a wolf anywhere else in the world, chances are that the animal would flee pretty quickly. That, for some reason, is not always the case with the Arctic wolf. Unlike its cautious relatives, the Arctic wolf has been reported to be a much more direct species, curiously approaching humans as if to find out more about this unusual species. While they were wary, they were not hostile and seemed to have no real problem with humans. However, these encounters all seemed to have been in circumstances in which the humans had food, and the wolves were well fed. Which leads us to our danger. The Arctic wolf is not likely that dangerous to humans, unless threatened or hungry. But if you were on the other end of a wolf bite, good luck. The Arctic wolf has a bite force of between 1,200 and 1,500 psi, about four times higher than a pit bull. Ouchie. Number 8. Wolverine Sure, Hugh Jackman can be scary enough when he's not singing and dancing, but he's nothing compared to the real-life Wolverine. The X-Men may be able to satisfy Wolvie with some booze, but the wild animal? Well, that's a whole other challenge. The Wolverine is regarded as one of nature's most notorious killing machines, capable of killing and eating anything that it gets its hands on. From shrews to moose, there is no limit to the scale of animal this little guy will happily eat. And much like their comic book counterpart, they have absolutely no fear. For such a small animal, they're ready and willing to take on animals more than 20 times their size if it comes to it. They really are the original do-it-or-die-trying animal. To answer the question you're all thinking, there has never been a documented case of a wolverine taking on a human, outside of the movies. But given that the wolverine is known to take on and kill animals as big as polar bears, it's not a stretch to imagine that we have no chance. It's basically suicide. Number 7. Doll Sheep I imagine most of us believe we could survive an encounter with a sheep, but honestly, I think most of us might be overestimating our own capabilities on that one. For about four weeks every single year, a group of bighorn sheep get very, very rowdy. The only question is, are they dangerous? The answer is, yeah, probably. High in the mountain ranges of Alaska, the doll sheep thrive in relative peace. With their massive curled or curved horns, they're peaceful for pretty much the whole year. Until you get to November. For some reason, at this point in the year, the animals experience the rut. A period in which rams chase ewes and fight to establish dominance. This usually involves a kind of animal jousting in which a ram holds its head down and sprints towards another, before clashing. After that, they just start fighting for the rest of the month before settling down and being polite. It's like every war ever. So are they dangerous to humans? We don't actually know. There have been no reported cases of sheep attacking humans, but with horns like this, it's a given that if it were to happen, you probably wouldn't be getting those holiday photos on Facebook anytime soon. Number 6. Grey Wolf There is no animal in the world more in tune with a ride or die mentality than a pack of wild wolves. They are the original hashtag squad goals. They are the animal A-team. They are, as Vin Diesel would say, a family. They're also brutal, dangerous, and relentless, so I guess they're like animal gangsters? It's hard to know where to begin with the gray wolf, as it seems just about everything about this animal is designed to be incredibly dangerous to someone. These are animals that hunt at night, and especially love areas populated with humans and large herbivores. Sorry, vegans. And then, when they do manage to secure some delicious midnight food, it's very much a family event. The wolf pack consumes anywhere up to 20 pounds of meat per animal, often chewing the carcass down to the bone and hair before moving on. At least they're not wasting anything. 
As with most wolves, the gray wolf is definitely hostile towards humans and should be avoided wherever possible. Although, given that they hunt after dark, that's very optimistic. It's like saying, try and avoid the wind. Actually, you probably should avoid the wind wherever possible. Number 5. Canada Lynx Yes, the cat lovers amongst you may see the Canada Lynx as a future dream pet. But you'd only be setting yourself up for a very unfortunate death. This animal is not just another cat, but one of the most deadly animals in the entire Arctic wilderness. It's a cat too, but you know, this isn't a list of cats. The Canada lynx has never officially attacked a human, but this is a territorial animal. With a reputation for eating just about any mammal it can get its teeth on, so the possibility is certainly there. However, while the lynx is pretty open to eating anything, it's not a particularly fast animal. In fact, the reason they're so well known as night hunters come from their ingenious creativity when searching for food. Since they're basically not equipped to go chasing after animals, the lynx prefer to hide and wait to pounce, sometimes waiting for hours just for a single bite. That's commitment to a meal. The Canada lynx is a lot more than just a big cat. This is an intelligent and skillful hunting animal that uses its own creative thinking to catch its food. And really, is there anything more dangerous than a smart predator? Number 4. Greenland Shark While most of the animals on our list are dangerous predators in their own right, the Greenland Shark actually has a little extra danger inside them. You see, this is a shark that is dangerous both alive and dead. How many predators can you say that about? The Greenland shark is one of the most massive sharks in the world, often measuring as long as 21 feet and weighing up to 1,000 kilograms. That means they're right up there with great whites in terms of sheer terror. And while they're notorious for their aggressive hunting mentality when alive, they're just as dangerous when they're dead. That was discovered by some brave or foolish, depending on how you look at it, hunters that managed to kill the animal and score some fresh meat. After consuming the flesh, the hunters discovered that the side effects were, for lack of a better word, intense. They felt completely drunk, unable to walk in a straight line, while their sled dogs, who also consumed the meat, were basically disabled. And some people pay a fortune for that kind of side effect. These unusual side effects are caused by a toxin in the shark's skin, known as trimethylamine oxide, though it hasn't stopped the meat from becoming one of the most beloved national dishes of Iceland. Humans, eh? Number 3. Tundra Wolf Unlike most southern wolves, the wolves in the Arctic are pretty unafraid of humans. But don't get too excited, because it's a real double-edged sword. For every wolf that's a little curious about humans, there's a wolf that has a more sinister motive. The tundra wolf is a well-known carnivore, often devouring just about everything it can sink its teeth into, from rats to goose to musk oxen. Despite the scarcity of their chosen prey, the animals use their packs to cover over 1,000 square miles, thereby allowing them to find some kind of meal pretty quickly. However, with all that said, there have been no reported cases of tundra wolves attacking humans, mostly because there are so few humans out there that it just isn't possible. And if they were attacked, how would they report it? The tundra wolf is a well-organized killing machine that has mastered strategy and needs no help to master the art of killing. It's easy to see why humans should stay away from them. Just one little push in the wrong direction and you're gone. Number 2. Killer Whale As one of the most massive whales in our oceans, everybody already knows about the killer whale. Of all the whales on our planet, this is probably the most dangerous, yes, even more so than the blue whale, and definitely lives up to its name. The killer whale earned its name hundreds of years ago when a group of sailors witnessed groups of the species hunting and preying on other, larger species of whale they quickly settled on the name Whale Killer, though ultimately decided it was a catchier name the other way around, or just got confused. But what makes the killer whale dangerous is that its diet is so widely varied. Not only do they feast on other whales, but they also feast on pretty much anything in the water. Killer whales have been known to eat everything from birds to swimming moose, meaning they have a taste for mammals of every imaginable kind. 
The only reported incident of a killer whale attack on humans is a single bite. Though, that is telling. If the shark is willing to bite us, who's to say it wouldn't want to take the interaction a little further? Say, to dinner? Number 1. Walrus if there's one lesson I hope you take away from this video, it's this. Beware of the quirky, sharp-toothed animals. Like hipsters, they're really not to be trusted. The walrus has long been thought of the quirky old guy of the animal world. In actuality, he's kind of a jerk. The walrus is so cute that many marine biologists have been misled into trusting the animal. Some even claiming that the tusks are only used to eat their food. Well, now we know that this is not true, this is a predatory creature that enjoys using its tusks to pierce, stab, and capture potential prey. Usually, humans are safe from this kind of attack, but not always. There have been many, many cases throughout history of walruses killing humans. Some as recent as 2016, in which a walrus in China accidentally killed his two human friends while trying to play. Other incidents in history show ancient sailors being capsized and drowned by aggressive walruses. The walrus is one of the many animals that are not what they have been painted to be. This is a hunting animal, first and foremost, capable of inflicting great harm upon anybody that irritates him. I admire that, actually. Which of these animals would you least like to bump into? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.